My name's Alistair Humphreys and for my entire adult life I've been hooked on adventure. As soon as I graduated I jumped on my bike and set off to cycle around the world. I didn't get home for over four years. I cycled 46,000 miles through 60 countries and since I came home I've rode across the Atlantic Ocean, across deserts, looking for adventure, difficult challenges in the world's wild places. Everyone loves adventure. People sit on the internet, reading websites, watching films, thinking, oh, I'd love to do that, I'd love to do that. There are so many things that stop people from rowing across oceans or walking across deserts. And perhaps the biggest one of those is the difficulty of starting, of beginning, of knowing how you even get going in a project as big and as daunting as that. So I thought to myself, what if you make it easy? What if you make it so small, so short on your time, that really there's no excuse not to get started? What if you have a micro-adventure? Walking around the M25 was my first micro-adventure. I loved it, and right then, I decided to commit to a year in my country. Boring, tiny, small little Britain seeking out adventure close to home and try and show that you don't need to go to the Yukon or Mongolia to have an adventure. You don't need to live in the wild corners of the country to be able to have an adventure. You don't even need to be in your own country. I had to go to Hong Kong for a couple of days for some speaking work and the first night the company put me up in a very fancy hotel, it was very nice fluffy white dressing gown. The second night, I had to pay myself. So I checked out the hotel and went and slept on a hill. Slept on a hill looking over the lights of Hong Kong. And it was a brilliant experience, a real micro adventure. The wilderness is closer than you think, it really is. And it was a great perspective on a different city. And so the concept of micro adventures works wherever you happen to live. Get a bunch of friends, Head out of town and go climb a hill. Watch the sunset, sleep under the stars, and then when you wake up in the morning at sunrise, it's this amazing experience of thinking, wow, I've done something really different. A bit silly, it's less comfortable in your bed, but memorable and different and exciting and adventurous. And all that remains then is to run down the hill, jump in a river for a swim. Jumping in rivers is good for the soul, it's your morning wash. Back on the train and back at your desk by nine o'clock the next morning. And then when your boss says to you, did you do anything nice last night? You can say, yes, actually, yes I did. Last night I had an adventure, a micro adventure. Life is now or never. Fill it with adventure, squeeze it, wring out as much as you possibly can from it. Life is this moment. This is it, life, now. Tick tock, tick tock, this is our life. We need to make the most of it, to fill it full of rich, meaningful, rewarding, adventurous experiences. So will you, will you go on a micro-adventure? <laughs>